Hello everyone, I'm Ellen with Ellen Ruth Soap. This is my soap shop and let's make some soap today. Hello everybody, uh, today I am making a goat milk lemon poppy seed bar. Um, it's gonna be really good, all natural, it's gonna be palm free. So this is a new recipe for me and I'm gonna put the uh, recipe in the description box below so you can try it out for yourself if you are a cold process soap maker. I'm putting my new apron on. My mother-in-law got me as a gift. I'm sort of an apron addict. I love aprons. Um, so what I've got going here today is I have my lye in raw organic goat milk from my farm, my happy little goats. And I have here my oils. They're all, my hard oils are melted and cooled off with my liquid oils. Got my safety equipment, my gloves, my goggles. Um, and on the top of these bars, I'm going to be putting some poppy seeds and some cranberry seeds from Brambleberry. They're just so pretty. They don't really go with the soap necessarily, but they're so pretty. Can't resist. Those will go on top. And then I have my colorants here. I am going to use Brambleberry's Buttercup Mica. And I'm going to use Crafter's Choice Matte oxide yellow and it's just a really plain bright yellow and I thought these two would look really pretty and with the uh, goat milk it's going to have sort of a creamy overtone anyway um, I did put some titanium dioxide in the goat milk lye solution just to sort of brighten it up a little I didn't want it like too yellow and I want my swirls to stand out so that's what we have we have everything set and ready to go and I will bring you back when I'm ready to get soaping. But I wanted to show you what I'm going to do next, my next video, my friend here. Well, this is just for um, soap stamping. I store it in here. This big massive thing is my cylinder mold that I use to make my mud cakes line, um, my shaving pucks, all my round soaps go in here. And it's really cool. My husband built it for me. Um, so I'm going to be doing a video upcoming. Uh, I'll make my shaving soap. I'm waiting for my fragrance oil to come from Nurture Soap. Should come tomorrow in the mail. So we'll be making that next, my shaving bars. But um, it's really cool. I have a poly tube lining that I put down here, and then this little apparatus. We literally just like, <laughs> sorry, put it together um, at the store. We're sitting there finding things that would fit, that wouldn't sink down in the hole. So I feed the tube up through there, and uh, anyway, I will show you the whole setup um, when I do that in my next video. But this has been awesome because it holds a full thing, one of my full, well I have here, I can do 28 bars in this tube in one pour. And, um, and I can actually achieve swirls too if I pour two different colors at the same time, and I have a huge funnel that I use. Oh, it's not near me now. I'll bring it all out. That's my next video, so look forward to that. Just giving you a teaser. So uh, we'll come back when my lye is finished cooling and we're ready to soap. Okay, here we are, putting the goggles on. Got my gloves going on. So it's February, it's cold outside, and I just, the inspiration for this soap was just kind of thinking about spring, and actually we've had a few days of warm weather, and the cute little daffodils have decided to poke their heads up. It's a little early. I think they believed the groundhog when he fibbed to us and said it was going to be a early spring. Maybe it will be, but anyway. I just thought of lemon poppy seeds, made me think of spring. I'm excited about all that. So I've got my stick blender and I'm going to go ahead and pour my goat milk lye solution into my oils here. Everything's cooled off about the same temperature. So here we go. Uh, 
Um, I do have, I think I said I have titanium dioxide in my lye solution. I also put some raw Tussa silk fibers in there just because I think they really give the soap a nice, just a really nice feel. Silky, you know, being silk and all that. And I think it really does add that silkiness. So I'm going to go ahead and stick blend, pardon the noise. Just get that stirred in nice. Just stick blending a little because this is already thick. The goat milk, um, it just tends to go quick for me. So I'm going to pull over my containers here for my colors. I'll go ahead and pour off into these. And I will add my scent later because I don't want any more acceleration than I'm sort of having. This is the Buttercup Mica. I'm going to do that one in there. And we'll do the oxide yellow in here. And it's really strong. I'm not going to put too much in there. All right. Grab a little whisk. Because I don't. I think I want to be stick blending right now. I think I'm going to try very hard to not stick blend. So it's going to turn sort of an orange color here, but it'll go back to yellow. So have no fear. It sort of looks peach almost, but it will go um, back to yellow. And now we'll do the oxide. Some matte yellow. I like all the shimmery colors, but sometimes just a straight up matte color. It's just nice, plain. Okay, got those two. I'm going to go ahead. And I think that I would like to do an in the pot swirl today. So. Go ahead and do that. Wipe that up. Since it's pretty thick already, so I'm going to pour the yellow oxide in this corner and just dump it in. And I'm not going to save any for the top because I'm doing the little sprinkles. I'm just going to texturize the top and I'll put them on there. I don't want anything to take away from my pretty sprinkles. All right, so we got that one in. Now we're going to do our buttercup in the other corner opposite. And kind of dump it in there so it gets a little down in there. All right. I'm going to switch hands. I'm so dominantly right-handed. I probably the least ambidextrous person I know. Just completely right-handed. So my son is ambidextrous. It's kind of cool to see. I am not. All right, so I've got those in there and I am going to go in around just a couple times because this is so thick, I'm not gonna hurt it and I'm going choppy choppy. There we go, and now I'm going to pour from a corner that I didn't put the colors in. Get our molds over. And I am using these molds from Essential Depot. I really like them. They stack very nice. Um, I've been very happy with these. So I'm going to just pour down one. 
Here's my issue. I try to get them even, and I usually end up with one soap that's just a hair taller. I don't know. I'm not that great at eyeballing. So that's my thing. I try to get them even. But this bar is going to be so luxurious. And you know what? I forgot to add the scent. Ha! Well, you know what? We just made an unscented bar. That's what we did. <laughs> that is so awkward. All right, people. That's what we've got. We're going to deal with <laughs> So these will be all natural, unscented, which is okay. Right? Got to have an unscented soap every now and then. For Some people really don't like scents. Actually, I see an allergy doctor, and she does not like any scent at all, um, which is hard to do between perfumes, hairsprays, soaps, lotions. Um, she actually doesn't like any scent, so maybe I'll give her a bar of this. There we go. I'm going to tap these down. This one is shy, so I'm going to actually come in and blop some over. Hmm. Let's see if that does it. Tap down. And we'll see if it is firm enough to texture the top. So, all of my unscented fans just got a wonderful soap made for them with goat's milk and lots of cocoa butter, shea butter, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Palm free. All right, I think that it might be firm enough to go ahead and texture, and it is pretty, pretty peaks. I'm actually going to keep the little peaks in the center to hold my sprinkles here. I feel like it makes a nice little cradle for them. There we go. Happy with that. There. Okay. Now I'm going to go around here again and sort of clean it up just a little. shaker with my poppy seeds down the middle here and see if we can sort of, yeah, they're sticking in the middle. I didn't know if they'd go flying out all over or if they'd stay where I want them and behave. That one kind of went wonky. There we go. All right, and now we 
pretty pretty. I just love the color of these cranberry seeds. They're so bright and they hang on to their color really nice. I'm gonna try shaking. I hope I can do this. Yeah, they come out slow enough. Just want everybody to get a little color. So my question to everybody out there, both soap makers and consumers, is do you mind having the non-soap items, like the foodie stuff on top? I've often wondered that, like the whole cloves or the star anise or the you know, dried oranges. They're so gorgeous. They look fabulous. But I wonder if people actually like to bring that into the shower with them. So I've hesitated to put too big of chunks of non-soap items on my soap for that reason. So let me know what you think about all that. I'm gonna spray these heavily with some 91% rubbing alcohol to help keep the soda ash off. I am gonna cover these with a blanket because I want them to go through gel even with the goat's milk. I just like the feel of a gel soap. I feel like it's a little smoother. Um, so there they are. Let's hold this up for you. My wet soap with no fragrance. And I will bring you back when I unmold and cut these tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. And I'm gonna show you how I unmold these. So. First things first, we have to get them out of the basket. And um, because this is under the level of the silicone, I don't worry about tipping it upside down because it's, it's not gonna bump the pretty top. So I just get the baskets out of the way. And then we will peel off the silicone lining. And this was going to be lemon poppy seed and now it is just a wonderful unscented bar <laughs> because I forgot to put the essential oils in yesterday. So I already popped the uh, suction on the bottom. It's very loose. Make sure there's no seeds to set it in. And I'm just gonna catch it with my hand. And not bump it on the table like that, right. And there we have it. And see, that is, um, I'm excited to see the yellows. They turned very orange yesterday when we mixed them in the pot, but I think they're gonna be real pretty. All right, I am going to do my unscented, wonderful creamy bars here. I'm turning it on its side so that the little uh, cranberry seeds and the poppy seeds won't drag through and make drag marks. And let's get this lined up. Let me see, I'm gonna do a little sample bar on the end. a little sample. That's pretty. And there's the inside unscented. It's got cocoa butter, shea butter. This one is 100% goat milk, raw organic goat milk, unscented, and it's pretty. So we're just going to keep cutting and get my bars out. 